Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to talk about a certain Zindi uh, crew in this video. I almost said Zindi screw, but that's a little bit... Um, we would uh, say it was a Freudian mistake here in Germany because um, when, when something like that slips, that, that has a meaning. But I mean, I think it's a bit like that with the Zindis and, and the power of the Zindis. Yes, Scopely said they are a challenge, but yeah, it's not as much as, as Scopely said. But before I get into those details, I just need to say that if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And if you do, then click this little bell and all notifications so you will be informed when another video is out or a live stream. Although it looks at the moment that uh, for the two weeks I was talking about in my last live stream, there might not be a live stream, but after that, definitely again at the latest. But let's talk about the Zindi again. As I said, Scopely made a lot of announcements recently. Um, one was, and they, they kept that promise, that they would reduce the costs for the Zindi Scrap Exchange, and they did. I had to pay um, 9,000 and 22,000 for the exchange, and now it's 3,000 and 15,000. It's still a lot of grinding, but you see I already got enough for the next exchange later today. So it helped to do that. But you still have to collect a lot. And that's why I wanted to make this video about the loot crew I want to talk about. But they also said they wanted to, the Zindi to be more challenging. But they also said you can kill Zindi on your ops level with the right crew. Well, Eco wrote that on, on, on Discord. And uh, I tried every combination uh, I could even think of. And I talked to a lot of experienced players um, that are usually, for example, training their own people in their alliance or whatever, we all didn't find a, a proper crew. And um, I don't have the smallest chip for a level 49 player that there is. So um, I don't believe Scopely in that point. But that still means we need to get a lot of loot with lower level Zindis. And um, that's why I quickly want to talk to you about the, uh, no, I don't want to locate, I want to manage, um, about the crew I'm using. So let's have a look at the officers. I'm using Enterprise E Picard because of his ability as a um, captain, because he increases the rewards gained from hostiles and the martyrs by 100% of base. Yeah, always this base, never the research in it. And I use data with him so that I survive a little bit longer during the fight that is really worth it. But I use um, 5 of 11 with him on the bridge and not Riker to give more synergy. No, because um, her officer ability, you will be assimilated, means that uh, 5 of 11 increases the amount of resources your ship receives from hostiles by 40%. And that's why I do the combination of Picard and 5 of 11. And with him, I use the Doctor Below Deck because his Resonance Man um, Below Deck ability increases all resources dropped by hostiles by 15% again. So I use the combination of these three to get the maximum loot out of a single hostile. And then, but that's, that depends on what, what you want to use. Uh, I've got two more slots below deck. And there I use Belana Torres and Desok. Belana Torres, because she um, can apply hull breach um, during the fight. And Desok, because he can apply assimilate to um, a hostile. And the, that is helpful as well. Um, you can always use Mariner or... Um, a lot of other below deck officers or um, but I, I use them on different ships as well but you could use um, Rutherford, Badgie or whoever comes to mind um, I'm missing someone yeah from below deck but they're all there nevertheless you can choose there but uh, for the loot part it's 5 of 11 enterprise ep card and and the doctor that i'm using to get more loot out of it and it also helped um, with other things 
And this is something that is very typical. And usually I do not um, edit that out when that happens and uh, the game just restarts. But in this case, I have to restart the complete device. And so I, and it's iOS again, of course. And this is a picture I regularly see here. So it's not, nothing that's uh, new to me, but it doesn't fortunately happen too often in my videos. But I got to do a cut here and restart the whole thing and restart filming then. So we're back on again, but I still won't edit that out because, um, as I said, I'll never sugarcoat stuff. And this is what regularly happens if you play on iOS in one form or another. That was just the worst kind where I had to restart the whole device. But um, people should be aware what the issues are as well. Of course, I do love this game, otherwise I wouldn't play it. So I don't want to down uh, speak it or whatever, but I want to show reality. And that happens. I still play the game uh, on important stuff when I can. I go to my desktop for Waves, for example. There are sometimes issues as well, but the iOS issues are still the biggest. And um, I really hope that Scopely will indeed start working on this because that is quite annoying. And I know a lot of people that are really annoyed about this. But it's today it's not as bad as it was in between. On, on fr uh, Thursday, Friday, it was terrible again. But nevertheless, the Zindi didn't cause that, at least, when they introduced them. I quickly sent my ship over to Zindi space while the game was uh, restarting and everything. And um, to just show you uh, an another topic, of course, I hope everybody still remembers the combat triangle. Um, if not, you've never heard about this because you just started playing the game, the Zindi will not be your big topic, but the combat triangle is then have a look at that video uh, uh, in my helpful uh, tricks list because that's something you need here as well. With my Explorer, of course, I only hunt the um, interceptors from the Zindi reptilian warships. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here too long to grind and I would get less loot in the end and the point is to get most loot. But you see, with my Picard crew, I can um, destroy a 40 interceptor and don't get that much damage so I can grind here a bit. If I go to one higher system or just one level up that's to the level 42 system the damage is much bigger and so that's why I'm doing this here in the level 40-41 uh, system to hunt the level 40 interceptors with my explorer and uh, so I can collect a little bit of loot and not only the loot that you have in your storage, in your cargo bay, is important. You always also get loot um, in the chests after a tour. You um, I ne never even checked if you get a chest with every Zindi. Um, not with everyone, um, but you get chests and those add uh, more loot um, to your... Um, overall loot and uh, with this crew with Picard with 5 of 11 and so on you see I just killed a few of them and uh, I've got 671 from level 40 um, hostiles so that's okay I need 15,000 I got uh, 19,000 because uh, today when I just sent them out and, and just uh, tried a bit I was lucky and got some of the um, wanted Zindi again but of course whenever I'm making a video none of them appears but uh, today it was easier to find some um, for me at least I must have had the right timing but we go to another system and maybe for once I'm lucky to have one during filming a video that I don't know how many videos I made even during my live stream I tried it over and over again never saw one and today um, in my short grinding time that I did I think I got at least 10 of them. Um, I was uh, uh, scouting some systems and then doing something else of my dailies and stuff before filming. and uh, But overall, I, I got 10 of those um, today. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm high above um, what I need today already. And yes, of course, flying in there now, there is none 
But it's always the same. When you want to show something, especially those that just appear from time to time, they never appear while the camera is on. It's it's like they, they know when a camera is on. But nevertheless, my loot crew is uh, was helping me. I did some of the uh, favor research, so to speak, um, in the Xborg faction store. But that's not helping extremely a lot. It helps a bit and every bit that helps is, is, is of course, ha uh, helpful. But it doesn't help um, extremely. The more um, help you get from Picard, from 5 of 11 and from the doctor. And uh, that's when um, you can go there. You should uh, use them if you have those offices. Um, that's, of course, the prerequisite. But this is my combination I'm using. If you... Um, have a better one because you think um, I'm I'm one of those people who rather click m much more so I use the um, combat crew to survive very long to ki kill them um, that's fine as well but then you can tell me in the comments as well of course as usual um, if you have to add something to my videos please put in the comments and also if you have questions or video requests I'm always happy to read your comments and you know that I try to answer the questions and to fulfill video requests I uh, did that several times already and uh, I will also do that in the future and um, that still doesn't uh, change that this is just the tactics I've chosen um, because when I hate something is this hostile grinding you have to hostile grind so much here and always click 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 that I always try it with less hostiles more loot <laughs> if possible and that's why I'm doing it with a Zindi here my uh, Corinar needs, I, I need to do some more uh, hostile hunting because my Corinar still needs to be leveled up a little bit more. The bigger the ships, the more ship XP you need for leveling up. You see it's still not full. On, on Saturday at the Met event I could um, tier it up again so that it is tier 6 now. And that was the point when I could tier up my Borg cube as well because the Corinar was finally tier 6. And so... That's something I'm working on as well. I just want to um, remind my German viewers, by the way, that meanwhile, for one week when I'm filming this, there's also a German version of this channel, of course, with less videos yet because I started later. But um, if you um, would prefer watching videos in German, there will be all the basics over time that I have here as well. And of course, I report on new stuff like the Zindi and so on there as well. So um, have a look over there if you prefer watching videos in German and not in English, because it's a bit harder for you here in English. Then um, I just want to remind everyone that that channel now also exists. And if you want to see another English video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.